ओके अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द रिवीजन डेज एंड माय एरिया टुडे इज टैक्स प्लानिंग इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया एंड इट्स अबाउट मेनी थिंग्स एंड इट्स अबाउट द रिवीजन ऑफ मेनी टॉपिक्स बट बिफोर वी मूव ऑन लेट मी टेल यू जस्ट फॉर योर मोटिवेशन दैट इन दिस अटेम्प्ट दैट इज मार्च 2022 आवर स्टूडेंट्स स्कोर 12 positions 12 position 10 is on the picture and the two i have written on the side right and out of this 12 positions nine students from nine positions from my students three sbr positions three f6 tx position one f7 position from uganda one world top in fa2 and one f3 pakistan top right so these are the positions and when i always say when these students can do why not you why not you and i'm sure one of you or many of you will score good scores and maybe inshallah distinction right okay and these days are very important very important don't waste time don't waste time even i would recommend not to watch too many classes now it's time to do question practice read your summaries read exam report solve mock right now now moving on moving onwards our today's areas is about tax planning the today's areas is about tax planning and tax planning it's about it's a 10 marks area of last 40 marks it's a 10 marks area of last 40 marks uh in my previous sessions repeatedly i have said this that there is a global global report by acca uk and they guided all teachers to focus on last 40 marks for all papers of skill applied skills module light f6 f7 f5 so normally students fail because of the lacking of last 40 marks so and this area which we are going to discuss right now it's also related to last 40 marks it comes under the heading of 10 marks almost and one more thing after the class soon we'll make the whatsapp group uh, and our admin will send you the whatsapp group link in the chat box all of you please join that whatsapp group so it would be beneficial for you guys to connect and to discuss and i i will also send a lot of stuff in the whatsapp group so for this area specifically tax planning area examiner has also written a very good very interesting article for advanced skills advanced skill need name of that article is i think advanced skills so because this area the area which we are going to discuss this is also linked to the advanced paper of taxation atx atx that is p6 paper but not its complete p6 but some of these things are connected with p6 as well so examiner has specifically written an article for you guys and i would recommend you after doing this class after completing this class do do read that article two or three times it will be very beneficial right okay now let's start but one thing please keep in mind that we are on revision days so you must know some basic things about tax because it's the last month even last 20 days now so you must have some knowledge some knowledge of taxation right now running see the heading and don't worry about the slides these slides will be given to you after the class i'll send you these slides so don't worry about it just relax and listen things properly i i won't run fast i'll try to go slow 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 okay now let us say you are a sole trader individual human 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 individual sole trader and you are running your business so definitely you are a sole trader human being and you are running a business so your income will be treated as trading income see your income will be treated as trading income so now you have to pay these three things see the screen you have to pay these three things 1 2 and 3 first of all on this trading income on this trading income on this trading income on this trading income you need to pay income tax and this trading income will be is non saving income okay and also if you are individual human being and you are earning trading income so you have to pay these two nic as well one is class 2 nic and the other one is class 4 nic right 
so i repeat let us say in uk you are a businessman you are a sole trader businessman and you are running your business as a sole trader so this income will be a trading income and on trading income you have to pay number 1 income tax number 2 class 2 nic and class 4 nic these three things you have to pay okay now right now we are here for doing tax planning so you just think about this issue how to reduce your tax so suddenly something popped up in your mind one idea that let's why don't we run this business as a limited company so now you can do it you can start you can you can start a limited company and now this whole income will be will be treated as limited company's income so when listen to me when you when you formulate your business when you report your business as a limited company so now on limited company you have you just have to pay 19% corporation tax remember setting up a company and run business with the company name okay so it's a now th this is the company's income okay now with company corporation tax rate is 19% now with company's corporation tax rate is 19% now compare it previously you were doing business with your own name previously you were doing business with your own name with your own name so your income was trading income and as an individual trading income is a non saving income and on non saving income the tax rate is 20% 40% and 45% according to the bands okay but now as you are running the business as you are running business with the name of company so the tax rate is only 19% so it's beneficial it's beneficial till now it's beneficial right so if you run the business as a company corporation tax rate is only 19% but if you do it as an individual then this income will be treated as non saving income and on non saving income the tax rate is 20 40 and 45 okay now one special thing i am sure you all have studied nic's in today's class i will touch nic a lot nic now if you run your business as a company you don't need to pay class 2 and class 4 nic i'm sure you remember because com company is not a human being company is not a human being that's why that's why company as company is, a, is not a human being so company won't 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 get old okay so there is no need to pay class 2 or class 4 nic for company never never ever never ever calculate class 2 and class 4 nic for company class 2 and class 4 nic for company right so this is the second game this is the second game this is the second game take your time take your time and relax take your time and relax now next let now let us say you have made the company the company has been formulated now as an individual you need to pull out funds as an individual you need to take out funds from that company as an individual you need to take out as an individual you need to take out funds from that company you need to take out funds from that company so now you have two options the first option b the first option be a director of company and withdraw amounts in the form of salary listen now you become the director look at the screen you become the director of that company and withdraw withdraw those funds in the form of salary you know directors are also employees directors are also employees of the company so now what will happen listen 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 be a director of company and withdraw amounts in the form of salary now let's let's start first with the aspect of companies when you are the director of the company that means you are the employee of that company you are the employee of the company right now listen whenever company pays salary to employees it's it's a total allowed expense it's a total allowed expense to company so this salary will be an allowed expense this salary will be allowed expense for company's point of view in the in the corporation tax computation number two you know when company hires employees when company hires employees company company has to pay class one employer and ic company has to pay class one employer and ic so now company has to pay class one employer and ic for you but yes one more thing 
this class one employer NIC is also an allowed expense for company. So now two things, two things for companies, my dear student, my dear, dear students, two things for companies. Number one, company will give salary to this director, this guy. So this salary is an allowed expense for company. Yes. And now company has to pay class one employer and I see company has to pay class one employer and I see for this employee. And yes, this class one employer and I see is also an allowed expense. Hope you remember. Hope you remember class one employer and I see is the burden of class one employer and I see is borne by employer. And yes, it is an allowed expense from trading income PNL of employer. Hope you remember. Now come to you. Now come to you. Now you as a director, you as a director is an employee. That's why your income is employment income. Now, whatever salary you are receiving, whatever salary you are receiving from the company as a director, whatever salary you are receiving from the company as a director, that is employment income for you. And you all know for individual, for individual employment income is a non-saving income. For individuals, employment income is a non, non, non-saving income. So now as an employee, as an employee, you have to pay income tax. As an employee, you have to pay income tax. You have to pay income tax, income tax on employment income plus class one employee. And I see, I hope you remember whenever you are employee and you are receiving cash salary. So not only you have to pay income tax, but also you have to pay class one employee NIC, class one employee NIC, right? And don't forget employment income is also a non-saving income. Now, one more thing. As now the company is your employer and you are employee, company is your employer and you are employee. So company has to follow rules by government. Now company must pay, 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 pay as you earn to government on your behalf, on your behalf, right? So this is the first technique. See this, see students, please see the screen. First, First technique with the black marker, read it, read it slowly, slowly and think over it. Let us say you form the company, you form the, you form the company and now you're running business in the form of company. So once again, you need to extract your funds. You need to extract cash from the company. So the first method of extracting cash from the company is that you declared yourself as an employee. You declared yourself as an employee. So these will be the implications. Please read it again and do, don't just read it. Don't just read it, but please think over it. Please think over it. Okay, my dear students, next. The second planning. Now, the second option is no need to be the director as you are the owner of this company. You just formed the company. So 100% shares, 100% shares, 100% shares owned by you. 100% shares of this company owned by you. So you just be a shareholder. You just be a shareholder of that company. And shareholder can extract funds in the form of dividends, ordinary dividends. Yes, shareholders can extract funds in the form of ordinary dividends. Now we have to read the next paragraph. Now, be a shareholder, be a shareholder of company and withdraw dividends. Now these dividends not an allowed expense for company. Be very careful. Dividends are not an allowed expense at all. Dividends are not an allowed expense at all because they are giving to they are being given to the owners, right? So ordinary dividends are not allowed expense plus one extra thing which I have not written here. One extra thing which I have not written here. And that is ordinary dividends are distributed from profit after tax, okay? Profit after tax. First, you have to pay corporation tax and the remaining funds you distribute. Ordinary dividends are distributed from profit after tax. This is the accounting terminology. I hope you remember, okay? Now, as you are giving ordinary dividends, so you know for ordinary dividend, there is no class one employer NIC. There is no class one employee NIC, right? But again, the, these ordinary dividends are not an allowed expense for the company. Now come to the individual side. 
as an individual, as an individual, this dividend income, this dividend income, this dividends, what you have, the dividends which you just received is, is a taxable income, yes. And for dividend income, you need to pay this tax 7.5, 32.5 and 38.1, 7.5, 32.5 and 38.1%, 7.5, 32.5 and 38.1%, 38.1%, okay, right? Plus, we all know you will get the NRB, you will get the NRB. As an individual, no need to pay class one employee NIC because on dividend income, there is no NIC. On dividend income, there is no NIC. Now read it carefully and think over it. No need to run fast. Go slow. Point two, somebody is asking for repetition. Okay, sure. Now we are the shareholders. See, as we, as we form the company, so we have 100% shares. So yes, we are the shareholder of the company as well. So we can take out funds in the form of dividends, right? So when you take out funds in the form of ordinary dividends, so for companies, for companies, dividends are never allowed expense, not allowed expense, okay? We have not studied such thing in, in our course. Dividend not an allowed expense, plus for company, company now, now, now company need not to pay, company need not to pay class one employer and I see as there is no nothing about employment income. And as an individual, now you are receiving the dividends so yes, dividend income is a taxable income. You need to pay a dividend uh, tax on dividend income on the rate 7.5%, 32.5 and 38.1. According to the bands, you better know. According to the bands, you better know, right? Now, as a student, as a student, one thing may come in your mind. Then that, that's a genuine question. Sir, now which package is beneficial? Shall we take out Listen to me. Shall we take out funds? Shall we take out funds from company in the form of dividends or in the form of employment income? That's the question. That's what we have to work, up, work on it. Now in the exam, you need to work on it. You need to work on different packages. You need to work on different packages and whatever package, whatever package will cost you less, you'll go for it. That's it. It's very simple. Whatever package will cost you less, you'll go for it, okay? And it's not abnormal, but yes, as usual, I always say about this text paper, it's all about memory. So you must have a sharp memory. You know, you need, you may need to shift your mind. You may need to, you may need to shift your mind. You may need to shift your mind, okay? Right? And this topic is basically a revision of complete course. It's a revision of many things, right? Companies, individuals, employment income, a slide of trading income, a little bit of pensions, okay? So it's like a mixed plate. So with your permission, I'm moving to the first question. We'll discuss three past papers today. We will discuss three past paper related to this and we'll go slow, 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 right? Now, the first question is Ali Mag, Ali Mag Limited. I think, I think this question is not in your kit. Yes, but it's a past paper. I, I extracted this from the old kit and I updated it. Okay. So it's totally relevant because it's a past paper. Now, you should assume, you should assume that today's date is, is 15th of March, 15th of March, 2021. Okay. Now, you are a trainee chartered accountant. You are a trainee chartered accountant dealing with the tax affairs of Gamila, who is the managing director of and currently 100%, 100%, please, please open your eyes, shareholder of Ali Mag Limited, okay? So Ali Mag Limited is, is owned by Jamila, Gamila or Jamila, whatever, right? Okay, 100% shareholder as well as the managing director. For the year ended 5th April 22, now, the good news is your accounting period and fiscal year is already aligned. Your accounting period and fiscal year is already aligned for the year ended 5th April 22. So when the accounting period and fiscal year is aligned, so you don't need to do any basis period calculation. When the accounting period and fiscal year is aligned, you don't need to do any basis period calculation. I hope you remember. I hope you remember, right? 
Now, Alimag, Alimag Limited taxable total profits before taking account of directors before. See the word before, 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 before. Taking account of directors' remuneration are forecast to be one eighty thousand. This will be the profit of this company before deducting directors' remuneration. Now, original original basis of profit extraction. Listen. Now the good news is, they have already solved you one package. They have given you one ready-made solved package, and now in this question. they will give you more packages and you have to work on those packages and then finally listen to me then finally you will be comparing the packages this package with the new package and if you are getting less taxes then you will go for them right okay let's do it now this is the first package which is already solved by examiner gamila originally intended gamila originally intended to withdraw 125000 of the profits as directors in remuneration means salary okay and you have calculated that this approach would result in the following tax liabilities and national insurance contribution now these are ready made things you don't need to verify it okay these are ready made ready made now listen as a com now this is company which is alibag alimag limited and this lady is employee director means employee gamila is employee so now just first of all for, go for the company obviously company obviously company is paying salary so it's an allowed expense but still company has more profits company has more profits so company has to pay corporation tax so this is the corporation tax paid by company 7339 this is the class 1 employer nic paid by company definitely as gamila as gamila is the employee as gamila is the employee so as gamila is the employee so company is the employer company is the employer so now company has to pay company has to pay company has to pay class 1 employer and i see and this is ready made given no need to verify it okay now as an individual now gamila gamila is receiving the salary so for sa this salary is the employment income for gamila so empl for employment income you have to pay income tax so this is the income tax and this is the class 1 employee nic and this is the sum of all 72422 so right now the cost to gamila because this is the gamila listen the company is also owned by gamila the company is also owned by gamila so all these numbers all these numbers are relevant relevant for gamila all these numbers are because ultimately at the end of the cup this lady this lady is the owner of this company so all these taxes whether is it is paid by company or gamila itself ultimately the cost is to be borne by gamila right because this was gamila's planning this was gamila's planning to to make this company to make this company right so this is the existing package you have seen just take 1 minute to read it 1 minute to read it no need to rush now the next thing revised basis of profit extraction now this is the starting of this question in reality now the question now we are starting this question okay don't sleep please don't sleep after a meeting with gamila a more beneficial approach to withdraw to to withdrawing 125000 of profits from alimag limited has been agreed for the tax year 2122 21, 2122 okay now Gamila will withdraw gross direct remuneration of twenty five thousand. Under this new package, only twenty five thousand she will withdraw. Only twenty five thousand she will withdraw. Only twenty five thousand she will withdraw. Right? Okay. One student is saying there is some there is some mistake in this total. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just assume this this seven two four double two. 
just take it as it is seven two four double two. Don't think about it. Okay, this number is okay because you know this is the old past paper and I amended it. Don't worry about it. Now, under the new package, now Gamila will only receive twenty five thousand salary. Open your eyes, salary. That means the employment income of Gamila is only twenty five thousand now. Gamila's husband Magnus will become twenty five percent shareholder in Alimag. Alimag Limited will then pay will then pay a dividend of seventy five thousand to Gamila and twenty five thousand to Magnus. Now neither Gamila nor Magnus will have any other income in the tax year twenty one twenty two twenty one twenty two. This is the new package. Just only make up your mind. Don't rush. Make up your mind. Now for the company. Now for the company, dear students, the allowed expense is the salary. Twenty-five thousand salary is the allowed expense. Twenty-five thousand salary is the allowed expense. And one more thing, class one employer and IC. One more thing, class one employer and IC. Class one employer and IC is also an allowed expense for the company. Okay. And for the individual, there are two individuals involved. There are two individuals involved now. There are two individuals involved now. Husband and wife. For the wife. For wife, there are two incomes. For wife, there is one income which is salary. For wife, there is one income which is salary, which is employment income twenty five thousand. And for wife, there is one more income which is seventy five thousand ordinary dividends. Seventy five thousand ordinary dividends. But, but, for husband, for husband, there is only one income which is which is ordinary dividend dividend income, right? Okay. So make your plan in your mind. Make make a plan in your mind, and then start. I'm giving you one 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 two minutes target. Calculate the tax for Gamila. Calculate the income tax for Gamila. Start. Calculate the income tax for Gamila. Gamila is receiving twenty five thousand salary. Yes, and seventy five thousand ordinary dividend. Come on, calculate the tax. Income tax. Calculate the income tax. Okay. Few students have started solving it. One question from a student: When Jamila is the owner, yes, owner, owner can shareholder can also be the director. Now she has two roles. Share directors also have also keep shares. Directors also keep shares in real life. so that means there are two roles of the director one is owner and the other is employee it is possible it is possible for companies yes now let's start listen 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 first of all revised revised dear student revise income tax for gamila please help me all of you, you you guys have to help me okay now for gamila employment income is now 25000 dividend income is 75000 so your total income is 25 and 75 now be smart be smart don't waste your time 25 plus 75 you will take these two to the side working so your ani your ani will be 100000 your your sorry your net income will be 100000 your net income will be 100000 but there is no gross gift aid donations in this question and there is no gross personal pension so your ani your ani is also Hundred thousand. Your A N I is also hundred thousand. And when your A N I is exactly is exactly hundred thousand, my dear student. So your personal allowance is one two five seven zero. If if I'm not wrong, your personal allowance is one two five seven zero. Your personal allowance is one two five seven zero. Okay. Now, can anybody subtract this twenty five thousand less one two five seven zero? 
it will be 12430 thank you thank you and this is 75000 okay now let's let's start working the capacity of first band is 37700 and the second band is very big don't worry about it now listen students we'll start with non saving income we'll start with non saving so you will pick this non saving income 12430 and you will lock the door of first band so obviously there is a big 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 capacity of first band but the income is low so for 1 2 4 3 you will multiply it by 20% what is the amount students 2486 thank you okay 2486 now out of this 37700 how much you use 12430 1, you used it so how much is left 37700 less the, yes this is 25270 okay now let's come to the dividend income let's come to the dividend income for dividend income always do one thing you know this 2000 times 0% nrb for dividend income first of all do nrb and dividend income's nrb will be given will be given irrespective of your tax status remember so what i'll do i'll write 2000 times 0% which is 0 and yes my old dialogue nrb always consumes your band nrb always consumes your band so yes your band will be consumed so this will be 23 270 right and wait let me write something here out of this 75000 dividend income we have computed tax on 2000 so remaining dividend income is 73 remaining dividend income is how much 73000 okay now you will pick this 73000 and you will you will knock the door of this this remaining capacity this remaining cap capacity so 73000 is a bigger amount and this 23270 is a smaller amount so you will consume you will you will grab this remaining band so 23270 times 7.5% right 1745.25 One seven four five point two five. Okay, now this band's over. Now let's wait two three two seven zero. We have consumed. We have we have calculated more tax. How much income is left now? How much income? It's four nine seven three zero. Four nine seven three zero is left. And my dear student, you all know this four nine three zero seven three zero. This four nine seven three zero will easily come. Will easily come in the second band. Okay. second man has big capacity so 49730 times 32.5% my dear student come on do it 16162 16162.25 what is the final itl can anybody tell me what is the final income tax liability 20393 okay so to be very honest this is nothing this is nothing you have done it you did it at the beginning of this course this tax calculation is peanuts piece of cake now i am sure you all did it i am sure okay 20 why you are saying 393 somebody is saying 393 what is the answer 2486 Plus one seven four five point two five and one six one six two. Is this answer correct? What is the answer? Two zero three nine three is the answer. Why you guys are wasting my time? This is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. now right now we are at gamila now gamila is receiving salary gamila is receiving salary so gamila is employee and all employees in uk pay class 1 employee nic all employee in uk pay class 1 employee nic and class 1 employee nic is calculated on cash cash salaries right so the cash salary is 25000 now please tell me the rates let me show you the rates of class 1 employee nic wait these are the rate of class 1 employee nic and in the exam you will be given 
in the exam you will be given see the rates see the rates you will be given in the exam and you must know this this is not my duty so 0 to 9568 0 to 9568 now tell me your your employment income is 25000 the first 9568 there is no tax on this first 9568 there is no tax so what you will do 25000 less 9568 25000 less 9568 the extra amount will come in the second man the extra amount will come in the second man and the rate of tax is 12% tell me how much 1852 right round off please 1852 class 1 employee nic is 1852 please don't act like kids you are you have to give paper within 15 days okay so now these things are very basic things now again one more thing as gamila is the employee as gamila is the employee so company is the employer as gamila is the employee so company is the employer now company has to pay class 1 employer and ic company has to pay class 1 employer and ic now quickly quickly check the rates quickly check the rates of class 1 employer and ic c 0 to 8840 nil 0 to 8840 nil and then 13.8% 0 to 8840 nil so out of this 25000 88 8840 there is no there is no class 1 employer and ic and on excess you will have to pay 13.8% quickly tell me the number 2230 okay just that's it that's it so good news good news is that we have calculated we have calculated some workings we have done some workings please for you guys now come to the company in the question it was clearly written yes very good question and a very good answer why i have not used the employment allowance for class 1 employer and ic why didn't i use the employment allowance of 4000 why didn't i use the employment allowance because you remember i when i when we when we were studying nic's so if there is a company if there is a company and the only company has only one employee and he, and that employee is the director that employee is the director of that company so in that case employment allowance is not available in that case employment allowance is not available right okay that employee is the director and only one employee so there is no employment allowance now come to the company in the question in the question if you guys want to take the picture of question you may see this is the question see this is the question if you want to take the picture of this question because I'll, you definitely i move the screen you can take the picture right now it was written clearly in the question it was written clearly in the question that this 180000 profit is before deducting director's remuneration it was written clearly in the question that this 180000 profit is before deducting director's remuneration okay so now in this revised package now in this revised package what is the salary what is the salary the salary of gamila is 25000 and yes for company it's an allowed expense for companies this is an allowed expense and one more thing company also paid company also paid class 1 employer and ic and this class 1 employer and ic is also an allowed expense for employer 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 you studied it so what is the name amount 2230 can anybody can anybody tell me what is the corporate uh, what is the profit after deducting these two what is the profit 152770 thank you okay and you know this is the ttp for companies the tax rate is 19% quick apply it quick apply it 290 290 26 or 36 okay 26 thank you 29026 okay so we have done right now two things one i have done everything for gamila i have done everything for from corporation tax point of view only one guy is left only one guy is left the magnus husband husband magnus the husband
Next, now the husband Magnus received dividend income, and you know dividends are not allowed expense. Dividends are not allowed expense at all. Dividends are not allowed expense at all. That's why, for the company point of view, there is no allowed expense of dividend. Don't forget this. But yes, as Magnus, as Magnus received this dividend income, as Magnus received this dividend income. So for Magnus, this is this is a taxable income, okay? And this is the only income Magnus Magnus has, okay? So twenty five thousand is the dividend income. There is nothing is given, so this will be total income, and this is your A N I as well. This is the A N I of Magnus as well. So now, when the A N I is just twenty five thousand, that means less than hundred thousand. So the personal allowance will be one two five seven zero. Can anybody tell me the remaining income? One two four three zero, okay? So this is the taxable income of Magnus, and which is totally dividend income. This is the taxable income of Magnus, which is totally. Now you have to calculate tax for Magnus, and it is pure dividend income. Whenever you calculate tax on dividends, always, always, my dear student, first two thousand is zero percent NRV. So out of this one two four three zero, you have calculated tax of two thousand. The remaining one zero four three zero definitely the tax rate is seven point five percent. Can anybody tell me? Seven eighty two. Thank you, thank you. So this is the ITL. This is the ITL of Magnus. This is the ITL of Magnus. Seven eighty two. Yes, seven eighty two. Yes, sorry, yeah. Just ignore the point two five. Okay. Now the question is: Do Magnus? Do Magnus have? Does Magnus has to pay any 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 class one employee NIC? No, 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 no. For dividend income, dividend income, there is no class one employee NIC. For dividend income, there is no class one employee NIC. This is full and final for Magnus. Okay. Now let me show you the full picture. These are the all the taxes. These are all the taxes for Magnus. These are all the taxes for Magnus. These are all the taxes. Corporation tax point is very simple. For company's point of view, the salary is allowed expense. Salary is allowed expense. Twenty five thousand was the salary, and the, from the company point of view, class one employer and IC is allowed expense. So these are two allowed expense. When you deduct these two allowed expense, the final profit is taxable profits, and there is no other income for company in this question. So this is final TTP, and you will simply multiply nineteen percent on the TTP to get corporation tax. Now these are all the taxes. Let me highlight the new taxes. Let me highlight all all new taxes. Listen, 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 please. This ITL is relevant. This ITL is relevant. This class one employee and IC is relevant. This class one employer and IC is relevant. These all are. This corporation tax is relevant, and this husband's income tax is relevant. See. All these taxes to be borne by this family. This family is one unit. This family is one unit. So all these taxes, all these taxes to be borne by the family. All these taxes to be borne by the family. Okay. Now we'll compare the existing package with new package. Now we'll compare the existing package with new package. Wait, let I'll calculate it. Don't worry. What was the existing package? Seven two four double two. Just Just take this number ready made. I I think there is some addition mistake, but don't worry about it. Take this number seven two four double two as it is. Don't worry about it. So in the existing package, the number was seven two four double two. Okay. Now come to the Jamil. What is the revised package? In the revised package, Jamila has to pay income tax of two zero three nine three point five two zero three nine three point five. Class one employee NIC is one eight five two. Yes, class one employer NIC is double two five two. In corporation tax is two nine zero two six. 
and sorry, corporation taxes. Wait, two nine zero two six. And what about the Magnus? Magnus amount is seven eighty two. Can anybody add these four five five numbers? Five four two eight three point five five four two eight three point five. Now you tell me. Now you tell me that whether it is good or bad. It is good or bad. Tell me. Yes, the new package, the revised package, is better. We are ultimately saving some taxes. We are ultimately saving some taxes through this planning. Can anybody tell me the difference of these two numbers, the final numbers? Can anybody tell me the difference of these two final numbers? How much tax? One eight one three eight point five. One eight one three. One eight. How much? One eight one three eight one three eight point five. Okay, so there will be a net tax saving of one eight one eight three one eight one three eight point five in the revised package. So this is now. Who? Some people are saying the total is five four. How much is the total? This five four two eight three. It's five four three zero five. What is the total? Class one. Wait. One eight five two 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 three. Oh, oh, sorry. It's two two three zero. Sorry, 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 sorry. This I copied it wrong. Two two three zero. My mistake. Sorry. What is the total now? Five four three zero five. Sorry, 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 sorry. Five four. What is the total now? Still five four two eight three point five. Okay. Is the final answer correct? One eight one three eight point five is correct or not? Yes, thank you. Now, I would like to say one thing. You know, this is the area through which you can earn money. This is the area for which client will pay you good good amount. Just think, calculating normal income tax, normal capital gain tax. It's a clerical job now. Even to be very honest. a software can calculate the tax yes normal tax is calculated by a software yes very easy and software has a very good speed but this thing as a special thing this is a tax planning through this thing you can save 18000 pounds of your client so definitely now client will pay you a good amount so this is the real life topic to be very honest this is the real life topic even when i was the student of tax I I love this topic. Excellent topic. Sir, why you deduct class one employer and IC from corporation tax? Yes, because it's an allowed expense for employer. It is an allowed expense for employer. Whatever whatever employer pays for employee, it's allowed expense. Very simple. so this was our first question let me move the screen for you this was our first question let me show you the screen see this don't worry i'll send you the excel solution of this question also not a big deal not a big deal i'll send you but right now i have made the effective slide so it's easy not a big deal now so before moving on to the next question because we have to do three questions we just did one we just did one uh did you understand 80% of this question i am not asking 100% did you understand 80% of this question please write on the chat box i want to see okay okay now it's about shifting of your mind you have to shift it's about the revision of the course to be very honest okay so next question you will see something about pensions as well in the next question you will see something about pensions as well so don't worry about it yes this is quest this question is right now present in your exam kit qni if you have your exam kit with you you can open it 
I think it's question number 101. It's question number 101 QE. You can keep your kit with you. It's your wish. Otherwise, it's uh, it's visible on the screen as well. It's visible on the screen as well. Okay. Now don't waste your time. Let's start. You should assume that today's date is 1st of March 2022. Today's date is 1st of March 2022. Today's date is 1st of March 2022. Keone is the managing director and 100% shareholder in Nikio Limited. Again, this lady is 100% shareholder. Not, not a new thing for you now. Nikio Limited has no other employees. So no more employment allowance. No more employment allowance. Forget about it. Now, for the year ended 5th April 2022, Nikio Limited tax adjusted trading profit after taking account of the directors. After, see the word. The word is now after, after. Okay. Directors remuneration and employers class one employer and IC is 100,000. See, this 100,000 is after deducting, after deducting all expenses. So this 100,000 is in shortcut, in shortcut, this is your TTP. In shortcut, this is your TTP, okay, for corporation tax purpose. Nikio Limited will pay Keone a gross direct remuneration of this and dividend of this. For the tax year 21-22, Keone does not have any other income. Based on these figures, the tax and the NICs for Keone limited for the year ending 5th April 22, 2022. Now the good news, good news. This is your existing package. Something already done. Okay. And let me verify you one number. See why your corporation tax is 19,000. Tell me. Can anybody tell me why your corporation tax is 19,000? Because see, your TTP is 100,000. Your TTP is 100,000. 100,000 times 19% 19 is 19,000. Okay. So, these are your existing taxes. These are your existing taxes already calculated correctly by the examiner. Okay. On the basis of above figures, which are given in the question, which are given in the question, which are given in the question. Okay. Now the next thing is. Keone is concerned. Keone is concerned that she has not been saving for her retirement. See, this is the problem. So she is therefore planning to make a gross pension contribution of 20,000 before 5th April 2022 during the tax year 21-22. In this fiscal year, she wants to contribute 20,000 in the pension gross. Keep this word in mind, gross. There is no, there is no such thing about net. Leave it. However, Keone is unsure whether the pension contribution should be made by Nikio Limited or by her. So you have two options. As she is the as she is the employee of this company, so company can also contribute. Employer, company's employer, employer can also contribute for her, and she can do this by herself. Okay. So now there are two packages, two packages, and we have to solve two times. The first option. The first, if the pension contribution is paid by Nikio Limited means employer, the company will make a pension contribution of 20,000 in the company's pension scheme on Kenyo's behalf. This is the first option. And I'm not reading the second option. You read it yourself. You read the second option yourself. You read the second option yourself. You read the second option yourself, please. Now, I, I didn't read the second option, okay? I'll read it uh, separately. Now read, read the requirement. Now read the requirement. Now read the requirement. Ra now read the requirement, please. For each of the two alternative, excellent. For each of the two alternative of Keone making a pension contribution of 20,000, company pension scheme or additional director remuneration, and then Keone personally, see, these are the two packages. Calculate the revised figures for each of the four tax and NICs figures already calculated 
for the year ended 5th April 2022. My dear student, you need to, you need to calculate all these four things. All these four things again with your mind. All these four things again with your mind, okay? All these four things again. But right now, I'm only solving the package number one. Package number two is, is, a, is a different game. Package number two is a different game. Package number one is a piece of cake. Package number one is a piece of cake. Now listen, there are four things. A student, there are four taxes. See, this is one. Two, three, and four. We have to discuss on all these fours. We have to discuss on all these four. First of all, look at here. Company is the employer, and this lady, Kioni, is the employee. Okay, she is the employee, right? Now, if company is contributing, if company is contributing. In the pension scheme of employee, it's a benefit. Yes, it's a benefit for employee, but it's exempt benefit. Good news is this is exempt benefit. When this is exempt benefit, when this is exempt benefit, no extra income for company, no additional income on company. Company's employment income won't change. Company's employment, in, sorry, this individual's Keone's employment income won't change because this benefit is exempt benefit. So no change. No change in the employment income of Kioni as this is exempt benefit. So the income tax will remain same. Income tax will remain same. Income tax will remain same. One more thing. When there is no change in the employment income, so there is no, there will be no change in class one employee NIC and class one employer NIC. Think over it. There will be no change in class one employee NIC and class one employer NIC. Think. Think for it deeply, please. No change. Sir, this is a benefit. This is a non-cash benefit. It's, it's not a taxable benefit. So there is no class 1A one, one NIC as well. There is no more class 1A NIC. No NICs on it. So these first three numbers will remain same. But yes, but yes, corporation tax. Whenever employer, whenever employer contributes in the pension scheme of employee, for employer, it's an allowed expense. For employer, it's an allowed expense. So yes, we'll adjust the TTP. We will adjust the TTP by 20,000. We'll adjust the TTP by 20,000. We'll adjust the TTP by 20,000. Wait, wait, let me show you the question. We'll adjust the TTP by 20,000, no change. I repeat, no change in income tax because no change in employment income. Definitely, this is exempt benefit. This pension contribution by employer in the account of employee is an exempt exempt benefit for employee and when there is when this is exempt benefit for employee there is no income tax there is there is no additional income and when there is no additional income so why additional tax no income tax no additional income tax same and no more class 1 employee and employer and ic nothing nothing let me write this first solution let me write ITL remains same as 30982. Three zero eight nine two nine eight two. Nine eight two, sorry. This is your first comment. This is your first line. Very easy line. Also, 
no change in class 1 employee and class 1 employer and IC because this is exempt benefit as this benefit is exempt benefit so definitely there will be no change there is no change in salary there is no change in salary use your brain there is no change in salary so why when there is no change in salary so why employee and employer and IC will change no more changes but yes but yes for company this pension contribution is an allowed expense for companies this pension contribution is an allowed expense so revised corporation tax liability will be revised corporation tax liability will be c 100000 was the existing profit minus a new allowed expense minus a new allowed expense times 19% can anybody tell me the amount can anybody tell me the amount 15200 yes this is your revised corporation tax you just did the first package it's done the first package is done thank you thank you the first package is done the first package is done um. Now, my dear students, I'm sure this option was not that difficult. This option was not that difficult. Okay. I'm showing you the question again. Somebody's asking, but yes, now we are going towards the real part. Don't sleep. Please don't sleep. Oh, now this is the question you have. It is, it is also in your kit. It's also in your kit. If you want to take the picture of the question, you can take it right now because I'll move it now. Do check the existing salaries. You have to help me. You guys have to help me because you have to give paper, okay? Okay, thank you. Now, let's read the second point. Let's read the second point. Second point, what they are saying. If the pension contribution is made by Keone personally, now, employer is not contributing. Employer will first give some additional salary. See, Nicola Limited will pay her additional director's remuneration of 20,000. So now you have to increase. You have to increase the director remuneration. What was the existing salary? See, the existing salary was this. The existing salary was 47,500. Student, you can see this. So now company will pay more salary of 20,000. So what will be the revised salary? The revised salary will be 67,500. The revised salary will be 67,500. Don't sleep, please. And now Keone will then make a personal, see, this is not occupational, personal, personal, personal pension contribution of 20,000. Gross, 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 gross. There is no, nothing as net. Thank God. Thank God. Now, first of all, personal pension contribution by employer is not an allow. Sorry, personal con pension contribution by any individual. Personal pension contribution by any individual in his or her Personal pension account, it's, it's not an allowed expense from any PNL for tax purpose. It's not an allowed expense from any PNL for tax purpose. But yes, yes, very good, very good. We'll have to do band extension. We'll, we'll have to do ANI reduction. Yes, we have to do band extension and we have to do ANI reduction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, good boys. Okay, now let's 
let's do this package let's do this package but first of all i'll start with the individual kioni right for kioni now for kioni what's the working the revised employment income will be 67500 and what were the dividends can anybody tell me the dividends can anybody tell me the dividends can anybody tell me the dividends the dividend is 68000 yes dividend is 68000 okay let's add this is this will be 67500 and this is 68000 now you will have some more tax calculation now add these two you will go to the side working for ani ani 68 plus 67 is how much 135500 c the side working is 135500 sorry okay now in order to calculate ani in order to calculate ani you need to deduct two things two things one is gross gifted one is gross gifted which is not in the question one is gross gifted which is not available in the question but yes there is a gross PPC of 20,000. There is a gross PPC of 20,000. Uh, my dear student, hope you remember this. So it will be 115. Your ANI is 115,500. Now, very interesting. One more, one more working you have to do. As your ANI is, is between 100,000, your ANI is, is between 100,000 and 125,000 something. So you have to do you have to do return you have to do reduction working you have to do reduction working hope you remember you are you guys are no more kids so now let's see how much excess is your ani from the income limit how much excess is your ani from income limit income limit is 100000 this is 15500 this is called excess and you will divide this excess by 2 you will divide this excess by 2 so you will get 7750 7750 now wait you will get 7750. Now your normal personal allowance is 12570. Your no normal personal allowance is 12570. And now you will be deducting, you will be deducting this excess from normal personal allowance. You will be deducting this excess from normal personal allowance. So how much is the available? 4820. 4820 is your final personal allowance. Don't forget this. 4820 is your final personal allowance, students. Okay, now we'll go to the main working, please. This is 4820. Can anybody tell me the taxable income? 62680, thank you. 62680 and the 68,000. Now, my dear student, before we move on, we need to stretch the bands. We need, to, we need to stretch the bands. Please, please be careful. Now, hope you remember, hope you remember, you have to, you have to check the amount of band extension. Your gross PPC is 20,000. And you know one thing, relevant earning, relevant earning, your relevant earning is 67,500. Your relevant earning, relevant earning, relevant earning is 67,500. I'm using a word in Urdu. Remember, if in my classes I used to say mehnat ki kamai, mehnat ki kamai. So your employment income is sixty-seven five hundred, on and your gross PP is twenty thousand. So the lower amount is twenty thousand. So this twenty thousand is your TRC. This twenty thousand is your TRC, and you need to you need to extend the band with this twenty thousand. You need to extend the band with this twenty thousand with this twenty thousand. Okay. So your revised band will be C. Fifty-seven seven hundred is your revised band, and this will be one seventy thousand. So, how much is the difference? Can you tell me the capacity of second band? Is one one two three hundred right? The capacity of second band is always one one two three hundred. Yes. Okay. So these are your revised bands. These are your revised bands. These are your revised bands. Okay. These are your revised bands, students. 
now we can easily calculate tax we can easily calculate tax right let's do it but before we calculate tax i just i'm just for you guys i'm just telling you one thing you remember ai adjusted income you remember ai ai adjusted income although in this question there is no role of adjusted income in adjusted income you will write the net income total net income for adjusted income this is your total net income but there is no employer and i see in this question and there is no employee sorry there is no employer contribution in any pension scheme of employee and there is no there is no employee contribution in occupational pension so in this question your ai adjusted income will be around 135 500 your adjusted income will be around 135 500 so as it is less than the limit what was the limit can anybody tell me can anybody tell me the adjusted income limit 240000 yes as it is less than 240000 so your annual allowance will remain 40000 your annual allowance will remain 40000 and in this question in this question you have annual allowance of 40000 and just look at your trcs your trc gross ppc is 20000 so there will be no stepping out there will be no return working there will be no return working no stepping out don't worry about it okay don't worry about that part thank god there is nothing like that so let's start the tax first of all there is one non saving income and the other one is dividend income one is non saving income and other one is dividend income first of all you will pick you will pick this non saving income 62680 and your first band capacity is 57700 57700 so obviously you will consume the full band you will consume the full band so times 20% 57700 times 20% can anybody tell me One one five four zero. Thank you. Now six two six eight zero minus fifty seven seven hundred. Come on, tell me four nine eight zero. Thank you. Four nine eight zero times forty percent. Four nine eight zero times forty percent. One nine nine two. Thank you again. Now for dividend income, always there is first NRB, which is two thousand times zero percent, and From sixty-eight thousand, you just calculated two thousand, so sixty-six thousand times the second band is thirty-two point five percent. Sixty-six thousand times thirty-two point five percent. Come on, two one four five zero. Tell me the ITL in this case. Tell me the ITL in this case. Three four nine eight two. Thank you. Three four nine eight two. somebody is asking why you divided excess by 2 because this is how we work it if your ani is 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 in excess of income limit so for every dollar 2x sorry for every pound 2x is 1 pound reduction will be there every pound 2x is 1 pound reduction will be there you guys did this in the starting of income tax computation income tax computation i am talking about the ani somebody asked about ani please watch those lectures of income tax computation Two forty thousand is the limit of an of adjusted income ai ai adjusted income adjusted income 240000 i didn't use this uh, i didn't do that working in that question in this question just for your recalling i just discussed it it now listen as gamila is receiving more salary previously she sorry not gamila kioni my bad kioni is receiving more salary now so definitely you have to calculate class 1 employee nic and class 1 employer nic again class 1 employee nic and class 1 employer nic again with the revised number okay now wait wait class 1 employee nic you guys have to help me listen 
your salary is 67500 your salary is 67500 67500 please so these are the rates for 9568 at 0% okay now wait 67500 minus 9568 how much is left 67500 minus 9568 how much is left please help me 57932 now, can anybody tell me what is the capacity of this second man? What is the capacity of this second man? Can anybody tell me? What is the capacity of second man, please? No, no, no. Capacity. 50270 minus 9568. Four zero seven zero two. Yes, the capacity of second man is four zero seven zero two. Four zero seven zero two times twelve percent. Do it times twelve percent. Do it. And now, finally, listen. It's sixty seven five hundred minus what was the last band five zero two seven zero times two percent. Come on, tell me. What is the last? What is the last number? One fifty-four. How much is the total class one employee and I see now? It's three forty-four. Sorry, somebody told me wrong. Three forty-four or three forty-five. Okay, no issue. Tell me now, class one. Okay, okay, tell me the total amount of class one employee and I see now. This is class one employee and I see. Did you understand this? My dear student, did you understand this? Now, revised class one employer NIC according to the according to the new according to the new 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 salary. So see, see this these are the rates. On the right hand side, you have the rate. I have a question. Why you guys can't calculate these NICs using these rates? Wait, wait. Very simple question. With due respect. This is your salary. This is 67,500 is your salary. And these are the rates. You don't know how to apply these rates. Then how will you give the paper? This is a genuine question. If you can't, don't know how to calculate the Basic text calculation, then how will you give the paper? Just think over it. 67,500 is your salary. 67,500 is your salary. And these three are the bands of class one employee NIC. You have to calculate class one employee NIC. It's like tax calculation. Okay, now we are doing class one employer and I see my dear student, 60, this first band 8840, the capacity of this first band, the capacities of this, this first band is 8840. So what you will do, 67500 less or less 8840 times 13.8%. Eight zero nine five is your revised class one employer and I C. Eight zero nine five is your revised class one employer and I C. Okay. 
to be very honest to be very honest these all things were routine but now now there is one thing which is slightly technical and for that thing you have to be very very vigilant very active very active please for the last thing i need to calculate revised corporation tax weight see my heading revised corporation tax liability revised okay revised corporation tax please all of you be with me be with me don't sleep put your efforts now please see the question see the question read this paragraph read this paragraph see for the year ended 5th april 22 nikio limited tax adjusted trading profit after 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 that means this 100000 is calculated by deducting the existing salary existing salary and existing class 1 employer and ic see wait this existing salary this is the existing salary and this is the existing class 1 employer and ic see these two these two these two this 100000 student please put your effort this 100000 ttp is calculated by deducting wait by deducting deducting existing salary and existing class 1 employer and ic so these two things are already deducted this 47500 and 5335 is already deducted so now you need to just deduct additional 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 salary and additional class 1 employer and ic you are not getting my my dear students from this 100000 this 47500 is already deducted this 5335 is already deducted existing salary and existing class 1 employer and ic so now if you want to go for revised corporation tax you have to deduct additional things additional not total additional and now come on use your brain Additional salary was twenty thousand. Additional salary was how much? Tell me. Additional salary was twenty thousand, and additional class one employer and IC. I will tell you. I will tell you the additional class one employer and IC. Look at here. Additional class one employer and IC. I will tell you. Wait. This is the existing. This is the revise. This is eight zero nine five is the revise. So when you deduct eight zero nine five minus existing was five, how much was existing five? Existing was five three three five. So this is additional two seven six zero. This is your additional class one employer NIC. Yes, this is a technical thing, and yes, if you lose marks for this, this is okay. This is okay. This is a ten mark question. Ten mark question. If you lose marks, one or two marks here, there is no issue. And yes, we we all lose these marks. What's bad in it? Out of ten marks, if you score eight or seven, you are great. Passing marks is only fifty percent. And one more thing, you know the feedback of student students consider this question, this ten mark question, as the most difficult in each and every attempt. Whenever they come out, they say this is the most difficult. So yes. out of that most difficult question if you do two marks mistake nothing no problem no problem at all you you can do mistakes okay so given ttp given ttp was 100000 now less less additional additional salary how much was the additional salary additional salary was 20000 yes salary is an allowed expense and less less additional additional class 1 employer and ic this number this 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 number can you tell me revise ttp now revise ttp Seven seven two four zero revise TTP seven seven two four zero times tax rate is nineteen percent. Come on, do it.
Yes. That's the end of the question. It's done. It's done. It's done. There is no, there is no planning in this question. Okay. You don't need to comment and you, you just have to calculate these things. That's it. I, I do agree. I do agree. This last part was technical, but get ready to lose marks. Get ready to lose marks. Be happy to lose marks. If you lose two marks, no issue. Still you earned eight. If you lose three, still you got seven. If you, if you lose four marks, still six marks are there. More than enough. More than enough. It's a difficult question. It's a difficult question. For difficult question, keep a reserve of losing marks. Don't worry about it. Yes. Give charity. Somebody is saying give charity of your marks. Yes. That's a good thing. Give charity of your marks. At the end of the day, you need a pass. You just need a pass. Okay. So let me show you again all the workings. Wait. For this second part, these were the workings. Don't worry about it. We have time. We have time. We have time, please. Option number one is this. Somebody is asking. See, this is the option number one. Okay. And this is the last part. This is the last part. Wait. Okay, so now one question is left. Student, one question is left. Now let's take a break. Let's take a five minutes, five minutes break and we'll be back after five minutes. Let's, after five minutes, we'll join, okay? Okay, so we are doing the last question now. We are doing the last question. I think this question is also available in your exam kit. This question is also available in your exam kit. You can check. The name of the question is Sophia Wong. Now let's start. Sophia Wong, please, you have to help me for some taxes now. For NICs, you have to calculate yourself now. Okay, this is the third question. Okay, Sophia Wong has been self-employed as a lawyer for many years. Sophia Wong has been self-employed as a lawyer for many years for the year ended 5th April 2022. For the year ended 5th April 2022, Sophia has forecast her tax adjusted trading profit. Now, right now she is individual, individual, individual sole trader, individual sole trader, right? Self-employed, individual sole trader, self-employed, individual sole trader, self-employed, okay? So, Trading profit is 80,000. Now, whenever this, this was the starting point of my lecture today, whenever you are a sole trader individual and you are earning business income, trading income. So you normally pay three types of taxes. Number one, income tax, number two, class two NIC and number three, class four NIC. So right now the existing tax package, the existing total tax paid by the existing total tax paid by this individual, Sophia Wong, is 23849. Okay. This is the existing package if she works as a sole trader individual. Sole trader individual. 
now she will form the company now she will form the company in front of you now sophia understand that she could save tax and nics if she instead traded as a limited company and she is therefore considering incorporating her business on 6th april 2021 the forecast taxable total profits of the new liability company for the year ended 5th april 2022 are unchanged to be 80000 okay this is before taking account of any directors remuneration any directors remuneration okay this 80000 is before this is the profit of company now now assuming that sofia wong incorporates her business on 6th april 21 advise her whether or not there will be an overall savings of tax and nics for the tax year 21 22 if she withdraws all of the profits from the new company as number 1 this is the first scenario don't look at the second one the director's remuneration after allowing for class 1 employer nic is 71371 don't run fast don't run fast slow 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 case number 1 let's look look at here in case number 1 this is limited company limited company is employer and now sh- this girl sofia became the director or employee director directors are also employee of the company okay so out of this 80000 profit out of this 80000 profit she is withdrawing how much salary 71 Seven one three seven one seven one three seven one seven one three seven one is the salary. Seven one three seven one is the salary. Now wait. Look at here. Whenever, whenever company is the employer and you are the employee, so company has to pay. Company has to pay class one employer and IC. Company has to pay class one employer and IC on your salary. now please calculate the class 1 employer nic on this salary now all of you please calculate class 1 employer nic on this salary so your salary is 71 371 and hope you remember the band hope you remember these are the bands wait these are the bands 8840 the first band is 8840 so 71371 less 8840 Seven one three seven one less eight eight four zero times thirteen point eight percent is eight six two nine. Eight six two nine. This is your class one employer and IC. This is your class one employer and IC. Now student, wait, wait. This is your class one employer and IC. Now go very slow and basic. Company is paying two things. Company is paying two things for employee. Number one salary. Number one salary, which is allowed expense. And number two, class one employer and IC. This is also allowed expense. Class one employer and IC is also allowed expense. You have studied. So can you deduct eight six two nine? What number you are getting? What number you are getting after deducting eight six two nine? Yes, zero zero. So this is called full profit extraction. This is called full profit extraction. You know, some student they do they calculate class one employer and IC through balancing figure. some students calculate class 1 employer and ic through balancing figure by writing zero in the down zero on, on in the bottom and you get the balancing figure but for you guys i have calculated also so see this is full profit extraction full profit extraction means in the end balance is zero zero balance in the company did you understand this point students did you understand this point that out of this 80000 salary 71371 and what yes when you are giving salary to employee that means this guy is your employee so you have company has to pay company has to pay class 1 employer and ic company has to pay class 1 employer and ic and finally after deducting these two your profit is zero that means you extracted complete profit you extracted complete profit one more thing just a wrong thing listen if somebody deducted 80000 as a salary if some stupid guy deducted 80000 as a salary then company has to pay class 1 employer and ic on that 80000 so there will be a negative number there will be a negative number and obviously company company only has this 80000 cash company only has this 80000 cash then how will company will pay the remaining deficit just think how will the company pay the remaining deficit 
one innocent guy is asking what about class one employee and i see that is to be borne by employee forget it that is to be borne by employee employee section employee section employee section is different i'll tell you the employee thing one guy is asking is it not possible to become get lost no because see if she withdraws all of the profits see the question all of the profits just we have to withdraw complete profit complete profit withdrawal means the balance left will be zero okay now let's start with this with this case in this case the salary is 71371 in this case the salary is 71371 now as this is the salary so it's an employment income for sofia wong let's do it 71 how much it's 71371 let's do it all of you please active this is the last question just for the motivation please 71371 this is your salary now there is no other income so this will be your total income this will be your ani and as your ani is less than 100000 so your personal allowance will be 12570 come on tell me your tax 5 okay 58801 is your taxable income now there is no band extension in this question my dear student there is no band extension so your first band is 37700 and the second band is band is 112300 okay hope you remember this so out of this 58801 you just pick this 58801 and you knock you knock it on the first band so you will completely consume the first band 37700 times 20% please do it Seven five four zero. Now five double eight zero one less thirty seven seven hundred. Five double eight zero one less thirty seven seven hundred. Two one one zero one times forty percent. Eight four four zero. What is the total tax income tax? One five. How much? One five nine eight zero. come on this is the income tax this is the income tax okay this is the income tax now as this girl as this lady sophia is receiving the salary and she is the employee right now she is the employee employee so employee has to pay employment income employee has to pay employment income employment income hope you remember sorry employee has to pay class 1 employee nic my bad employee all employee has to pay class 1 employee nic and class 1 employee nic is calculated on cash salary bonus and mileage allowance over 45 pence so in this question only salary is given okay now do you know the rates do you know the rates of class 1 employee nic i am sure you don't know i am sure you don't know okay it's it will be given in your exam these nic's rate will be given in your exam but still you have to see the rates and calculate that's your duty that's not my duty See, this is the rates: nine five six eight, nine five six eight, and five zero two seven zero. For first nine five six eight at zero percent, then you have five zero two seven zero minus nine five six eight. Tell me what is the amount of second second thing: five zero two seven zero minus nine five six eight. Tell me four double eight four. And now the last seven one. How much was the salary? Seven one three seven one minus five zero two seven zero times two percent. How much? What is the total line? I see. Five three zero six. And those who don't understand this calculation, they should download a new game, ping pong. Now, this is my advice for them. Seriously, if they, if you guys don't know how to calculate normal NIC using the rates, better download some games, basic games of kids.
sorry <laughs> i know these are last days tension days tension tension days but to be very honest this is basic nic calculation there is this is not even planning this is basic nic when i was teaching you in normal class i taught you some additional nic's extra nic's now my dear student class 1 employer nic i already calculated for you class 1 employer nic i just calculated it for you 8629 8629 this i already calculated already 8629 this i have already done class 1 employer nic i just did for you see evidence 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 this is this is this is class 1 employer nic i did it for you okay now now you tell me in this case you don't need, your ttp is zero see 80 see this 80000 profit less salary salary is an allowed expense class 1 employer nic is also allowed expense so the balancing figure ttp is zero your ttp is zero in this first case so that means no corporation tax that means no more corporation tax okay in this first case there is no corporation tax so let's calculate the total numbers wait income tax in this first case is 1591598 15980 class 1 employee nic is 5306 obviously class 1 employer nic is 8629 and corporation tax is zero so what is the total amount 29915 Two nine nine one five is the total amount in this case. Two nine nine one five is the total amount in this case. Now, if you have your exam kit, open your exam kit. If you have your exam kit, open your exam kit and see the question. Compare it with the existing package. 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 This package, this planning is not beneficial. This. planning is not beneficial yes now let me move the see the question the original deal the original amount was 23849c the existing package of tax was 23849 and in this package in the first package the answer is 29915 so this first planning is not beneficial and not recommended this first planning is not beneficial and not recommended did you understand please write write in the chat box if you understand this first part please write in the chat box please please write in the chat box okay now relax relax let's see the second case and little bit accounting you know little little bit of accounting knowledge second case now the profits the total profits of the company was 80000 now he will withdraw he won't withdraw salary now the, in the second case he won't withdraw salary he will withdraw dividends after allowing for corporation tax dividend will be 64800 see this is the this is the favor of examiner for you guys this is the favor favor of examiner for you guys sir the profit is 80000 why can't we withdraw 80 sir the pro there is a question of my, of innocent student there is a question of innocent 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 student sir when the profit is 80000 why can't we withdraw complete profit because my innocent student first of all you have to pay corporation tax and then you can withdraw profit after tax profit after tax after tax in your accounting you have studied you can you can 
please send the WhatsApp link. If somebody has the WhatsApp link, please send. Yes, we have sent. Listen, my dear student, I, I agree. We have 80,000 profit. But we can't withdraw complete profit. First, we have to pay corporation tax and then we withdraw profit after tax. So that's why I'll prove it. I will prove this number 64800. Okay, look at here. In the second case, now we are withdrawing dividends. First of all, in case of dividend, dividend is not an allowed expense at all. In case of dividend, dividend is not an allowed expense at all. So your 80,000 is your TTP. Now in this second case, your 80,000 is your TTP. So times 19%, 80,000 times 19% is how much? You have to pay 15,200 tax. Now 80,000 less 15,200 is 64,800 you can take out as a dividend. 64,800 you can take out as a dividend com complete. See, add these two numbers, 64,800 plus 15,200 total amount of the company has been withdrawn. Complete profit and complete cash is withdrawn. Okay. Now this dividend, now this dividend Sophia is receiving is a dividend. Is a taxable income? Yes. Now the dividend which Sophia is receiving is a taxable income. Now let's calculate income tax for Sophia. Okay. Start. This 64,800, there is no other income. So this will be total income and this will be your ANI. ANI. And as your ANI is less than 100,000, so your personal loss will be. Can anybody tell me the balance? 52230. Thank you. Now, wait. Your first band capacity is 37,700. Second band capacity is, I think, how much? 112,300. This is. Okay. Now, for dividend, first 2000 is always 0%. And out of 37,700, 2,000 we have calculated. So remaining 35,700, this will be 7.5%. Do it. Remaining 35,700, it's 7.5%. Tell me. 2678. Now wait. Your total taxable income was 52230. From 52230, can you deduct this 37,700? 52230 less 37,700. Can anybody do it? 14530, thank you. Times 32.5%. Force 1422. No. Can you tell me the last tax? 4722. Okay. What is the total income tax in this case? 7400 is your total income tax income tax see this is 7400 is your total income tax okay now good news easy working easy working in this case there is no class 1 employee nic and class because now now sofia wong in this case is no more employee so that means company is no, no, more, no longer employer. So there is no class one employee NIC. There is no class one employer NIC. Nothing like that. Nothing, nothing like that. So whatever, whatever you just you have to pay in this case, in the second pay package, you have to pay corporation tax of 15,200, income tax of 7,400, and there is no NIC. There is no NIC. How much is the total? How much is the total? Double two six hundred. Yes, this package is even better than the first original package. This package is comparatively better than the package given in the question. This package is comparatively better than the package given in the question. Can you see the question? Can you see the question? In the question, the package was two three eight four nine. See, this is the package. So. 23849 original 23849 was the original package can you take the difference of these two can anybody take the difference of 23849 minus 22600 yes you can say 1249 and that's the end of the question that's the end of the question
second package is beneficial and second in by using the second package you can save some additional tax of 1249 Did you understand the question? Please comment. Please comment on the chat box. Did you understand the full question? Okay, now just for your motivation, let me tell you one story for your motivation. Uh, back, this is the real story of 2014. This is the real story of 2014. When there were no online classes, when there were no online classes and we used to, we teachers used to conduct crash courses, physical crash courses, you know, in five days or six days or sometimes seven days, seven days, seven hours per day, seven days, six hours per day. Sometime we used to teach complete course. Uh, yes, I told you this. I told this story in previous webinar. Yes, but uh, now there are new students. That's why I want to repeat this story. This is a motivational story. That's why. So we used to have seven days, six hours per day, like 42 hours or sometimes 50 hours crash course. So I still remember it was December attempt, December 2014 attempt. And I started my crash course like on 17th or 18th November. One month before the exam and almost half month already passed. So one, one new guy entered in my class and he said, I'm from BBA background, BBA background. And I got some four to five exemption in ACC. And today is my first day of taxation. Today, I'm first time studying taxation. And I want to give paper after 20 days, like on 16 November or 18 November, you have 20, 25 days, max 20 days. So he said, sir, do you think I, I can clear the paper? You know what I said? I said, okay, take my first class, take my first class. And if you understand, then you can, then we can decide. So at the end of the first class, I, I took his feedback. He said, yes, I understood everything. So I said, okay, now buy the exam kit, buy the exam kit and start studying. To be very honest, that guy bought the exam kit on 18th of November or so. He took the crash course and he appeared in the December attempt and he cleared that paper in just 20 days, 20 days, fresh student. And when he cleared the paper, he, he posted this on, on Facebook that I just cleared in 20 days. So, you know, I just shared his, his, his post at that time. I shared his post. See, I, I shared with motivation that in 20 days, my student cleared it. And then he reshared my post. Then he reshared my post by this, by this status. Happiness is when your teacher shares your post. Happiness is when your teacher shares your post. And you know, this guy is still in contact with me. Yesterday, yesterday I contacted this guy works in Daraz. Have you heard about Daraz? Daraz. He's still working on a senior, senior post on Daraz. And he helps me. He helps me injecting some of my students in Daraz or professionally. He guides me how to get in in Daraz. So just think in 20 days when that guy can clear, why can't you? Why can't you? And the, he was a fresh guy, fresh guy. You guys start uh, studied almost four months or five months or three months. And now you are doing revision days. You are reading examiner report. You have all the resources. 
at that time there were no resources like online lectures recorded lectures nothing but now you have all lectures you can revise each and everything now even all classes so if you have courage if you have a destination if you have a proper commitment you can you can easily clear this paper and i want 50 marks 50 marks is more than enough we don't want 80 90 87 70 leave it 50 i am happy with 50 marks okay so stay in touch i'll send you more classes and i'll announce further things on the whatsapp group right i have some revision days already recorded as well i'll send you guys so stay in touch and thank you for attending the class allah hafiz thank you bye bye